Hello. In this demonstration, we will see how Rapid ILL works behind the scenes when placing a resource sharing request through Primo, and how the request is managed on the borrowing and lending sides in Alma. You'll see the entire workflow is based only in Alma and Primo, where the resource sharing staff will be processing the request. But behind the scenes, Rapid ILL is going to be processing and serving as the platform for the document delivery service. We'll start our process by conducting a search the way a patron would. I'm going to make sure I'm conducting my search for the descriptions of the roofs over Buckingham Palace in the Central Discovery Index. The exact article that I'm looking for has not been found, which means my institution does not own it. I'm going to expand my results. Now, I can find the article, but see that it is not available online. I'm going to open the article in full view. Even though I don't have access locally, I am able to place a resource sharing request for it. The resource sharing form is automatically populated with the article information, including the issue, the ISSN, publication year, volume, and pages. Even the patron's email address is pre-populated. All that remains for me to do is hit send request. A copyright warning will appear, so I'll hit the button indicating I agree with the terms. Then I see an alert letting me know the request has been submitted. Now let's imagine I work at the borrowing institution. I'll go into Alma to follow up on this request. In Alma, I'll go to the Fulfillment menu, then click on Borrowing Request. We are working in the Alma University environment, which is the borrowing institution. Using Facets, I'm going to look at requests created today. And now I can see the request I just placed, descriptions of the roofs over Buckingham Palace. I'll click on Other Details. Here we can see that the request has already been automatically sent to Rapid ILL. A Rapid ILL ID has been assigned as our external identifier. This happened based on my configurations, which have been set up to send all digital requests to Rapid ILL first for fulfillment. If Rapid was unable to fulfill the request, it would have been rejected by Rapid and moved to another potential lender. In this case, Rapid accepted this request and shows me who the lending library will be, in this case, Open University. Rapid has completed all the necessary steps, so there is no more action needed by the borrowing library. Let's take a look at the lender side. I'm going into Open University's environment now. I'll go into the Fulfillment menu and select Lending Requests. I'll use Facets again to look at requests from today, and here I can see the request from the patron at Alma University. Just like on the borrower side, I can see that the request came through Rapid ILL, see the Rapid ID number, and the name of the borrowing library. All I need to do now is access this article and send it. I'll go to the Row Action tool and click on Manage Fulfillment Options. Here, I'll have a link to the article. It takes me to the American Periodical Series, which I'll click. Now the link will resolve to the specific article. From here, I can access the full text link and download the article. I'll save the file directly to my computer. Now all I have to do is go back to the request. I can right click within the request, then select Ship Item Digitally. From here, I'll upload the file by clicking Add File and selecting the file from my local Downloads folder. I'll also enter the request ID generated by Rapid. I'll get a confirmation alert, and you can see that the request is no longer in my active task list. If I want to see the request, I can change the activity status to completed and enter the ID in the search bar. Here, I can see that the status has changed to Shipped Digitally. Now let's go back to the borrower side to see what the request looks like. Back in Alma University, I'm going to hit the refresh button. Now we can see that there are no longer any active requests. I'll change the activity status to completed. Here we can see the request, and it now shows a request status of request completed. An email has automatically been sent to the patron. Here is what that message looks like. It includes the title information and links to access the article. The article requires the patron to log in in order to view the article. After successfully logging in, the article is downloaded along with a cover page, including details of the request.
The resource sharing staff is also able to view the file by right-clicking on the request and selecting Show File or resend the file to a patron by selecting Send File to Patron. That concludes this demonstration of how Rapid ILL works when placing a request through Primo and how the request is managed on the borrowing and lending sites in Alma. Thanks for watching.